Moving up north, a human resource audit by Wajir County Government has revealed that the devolved unit has at least 4,338 staff, with the majority being in both top and bottom positions. Now, the audit by the Public Service Board revealed that majority of the county staff were hired without following due process, including advertising for the positions and other others were never interviewed. Speaking during the launch of their report in Wajir Town on Tuesday, Wajir Governor Ahmed Abdullahi promised to con rather promised to correct the mess without victimizing anyone. It was reported that of the 1,642 files sampled by the auditors from the Public Service Commission, 354 had no certificate at all, and some staff in the in the Wajia County had two appointment letters from the employer. Wajia County Government recruited staff at the top positions, including hiring drivers at Job Group H, when they were supposed to have been started at job group D. We have uh, prepared already, we are slightly going ahead of the auditors. We have already uh, prepared a new non resource policy for Wajir County, which will request the sections of the government to launch it very soon. That document is ready. We have also prepared uh, uh, staff establishments for every department we have sent with uh, all the directors and uh, CDCs and, and chief officers, every department we have one or two days, and that also, that document which is a milestone is also ready, and I think we will also uh, implement when uh, we do few other hospital issues. And the other issue, I think, uh, uh, the directors, the idea of, of all this is to manage the cost of, of the way to build, of course, and uh, to improve service delivery, uh, it might be painful. Uh, uh, the, the structure is not as painful. I think we've done quite well in trying to get rid of ghost stories. I cannot say with certainty that we are there 100 percent. That is, a lot of people who said that we are stopped because of no one would account for them. I promised that we will appoint the board before the closing is Moving on, education stakeholders are urging the government to reevaluate its approach to funding universities as higher education institutions.